Charlie Day starred in the original Pacific Rim movie in 2013 and he reprised his role for the sequel Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, the 46-year-old actor is discussing why he was disappointed while heading into production on the sequel. Click inside to find out what he said. Charlie was upset after learning that the first film's director Guillermo del Toro had to drop out of the second movie. Guillermo wanted to do it for the longest time, and I don't want to put any words in Guillermo Cass's mouth. I shouldn't be drumming up press about it, he can make his own press. But I was disappointed when he dropped out of the film, and it was completely rewritten from what he had originally intended, Charlie told THR. He continued, but I also love and respect Guillermo so much that I wanted to stay involved in the project because I thought, well, if he ever wants to come back and do the third one, I don't want them to kill me off. So that was my primary motivation. Guillermo had given me this opportunity in the first place, and he created the character. So if the franchise went on, I wanted to be a part of it for his sake. But yes, he's such a singular vision and talent. Someone else can do someone else, but no one can do him. He's a true auteur, and when you give an auteur a big franchise thing, they're going to do something really interesting with it, which I think he did, Charlie said. While talking about his upcoming directorial debut, Charlie talked about his love for Guillermo. I owe a massive debt of gratitude to Guillermo del Toro. I did his movie Pacific Rim, and he had been on two episodes of Sunny. He was a big Sunny fan and asked if he could be on. So I said, of course. I'll write you something. Guillermo is always a busy guy, but we stayed in touch. So I was just stuck creatively on some aspects of the movie. There were less directing problems and more writing problems. There were some things that I had missed, Charlie said. So I was able to pick Guillermo's brain on several occasions, and when I was in the process of selling the movie, I had one last conversation with Guillermo about my doubts where the story was going. And Guillermo convinced me to just take a beat. It doesn't matter how long it takes the movie to get out. Rewrite it. Bet on yourself. So I wrote 27 new pages. And I can't believe Guillermo did this, I cannot thank him enough. I would send him pages, and he would send them back with his note. And he's a busy man. He's out promoting his movie now, and I think he was just finishing Nightmare Alley at the time. But he really helped guide me, and he gave me the confidence to just go ahead and do this reshoot. Charlie just dropped a new movie on Amazon.